Come it up for them. Um, well, I think you know we've been worked very hard over the years to get some big nights and big moments on the you know behalf of the club side of things and for the players, you know some real historical moments. But I think there's still something really special about this club and about winning here and about for our fans, of course, as well. Um, close to the last couple of seasons with two twos and you know they've come back um, tonight. It didn't feel like that. I think you know once we got our nose in front, we. We handled the game well, um, which is not easy here. They've only lost once here this season in the, in the league, so it's not easy. Um, and as the game wore down, I, I just thought we could see it through. You know, I didn't have that same feeling they've had in the past, and, and we did see it through. So, But back to the point, yeah, for our fans, travelled in numbers again. They stayed with us against Leicester and a few question marks, you know, because we'd had a tough run. And then the weirdness of football. You know, you've taken six points against two top six sides and... and it all looks different. That's, that's the marvel of, of the modern game, I suppose, the marvel of the Premier League, how quickly it turns and it shifts and looks different. Yeah, I thought that was a, a really pleasing thing. I mean, I, I've always been proud of the, the lads' fitness, the way they look after themselves and to come out of the game on Sunday and play here um, and deliver another, you know, very strong physical performance and the demands of the modern game. I was really pleased with that and the attention to tactical detail and, you know, all the things we often have to do. It's not a... It's never easy for us in any game of the Premier League. It's you know you're going to come here and probably not see the ball anywhere as near, near as much as even we do. You know we, we don't dominate the ball very often, but you don't see a lot here. Um, so therefore you've got to do all the, the 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 sort of other side of the game properly. And I thought they did tonight. They delivered you know the, the shape, the tactics, the everything. And then we found two big moments and, and fantastic moments they were. Yeah, I mean. You know, we've said over the last few weeks, set pieces are still an important part of the game, and I think we're very good at them. The players are very good at them. You know, I think every time we get a set piece, we look like we've got a chance of scoring, and the players believe that. You can tell it. And a brilliant header from Ben Mee. I mean, he brilliant the other day from from one of the goals, and fantastic. But Wardy reads it really well. It's something I speak to him a lot about, you know, anticipating the game because I still think he's got more to come with that. Uh, Woody, I mean, and then the second one's, a, uh, I think, it's a brilliant goal. I think the build-up, I think two centre forwards linking. Um, everyone knows I like playing two centre forwards, but when they link, it's really difficult for a centre half to play against. And the, and the link play, and then a, um, an absolutely top draw finish. Um, so yeah, I mean, if there's ever a goal worthy of winning a game, then that's a goal that is worthy of winning a game. <coughs> It's what, sorry? Yeah, well, that's that's a good marker. I mean, you know, it's it's not an easy task scoring uh, scoring goals in the Premier League, and, and as you said, he's, he's he's scored well again so far. More to come. J Rod as well. I'm pleased for him. I'm pleased for Matt Loughton today. He got through in the last minute, really, this morning, um, because Bardo would have probably played, but he, he twisted his back the other day. Looked uncomfortable with it, so I made that decision. He still wanted to carry on, but I, I called it. I think Loughton has done really well tonight, you know, and it's not easy coming in last minute there. Um, and I thought he had, he had a really good performance too, amongst many. No, I think, look, I've always been interested in the, the table after the last whistle of the season, not the first. No, that's the important table. Um, the, the bit in between we all just talk about and the ups and downs, the ins and outs, results come and go. But it's the end of the season that's the really important table. And that's the one when you really know where you're at. United have conceded uh, around 40% <coughs> of their goals and set pieces. What kind of Weaknesses Well, it's certainly not for me to start questioning others. I tend to not do that. Um, we focus on ourselves. Um, we want good delivery, quite obviously, going into the box. We have dangerous players, we feel, um, who have an eye to attack the ball uh, with a real a body language and a purpose that can, that can create, uh, create trouble and score goals. And we've shown that, you know, year on year, but particularly the last couple of years. And so I'm pleased from that side of things. Um, but I'm certainly not going to start questioning other teams. Were you surprised they didn't roll back? I mean, you played better and not got three points. Yeah, but that—that's the complexities of of football. You know, it's. Here we go again then with the VAR comes with the short header. Do you think that was? Um, well, the the foul on Matt Lowen. No, I, that looks a foul. Yeah, I mean, the force to be fair to him, Martin. He, you know, I said there's got to be a foul. He said they're looking now, but he said I think that probably is going to be a foul. I was a, I was a long way away, but it looks like two arms in the back. Um, 
that was probably their only moment, really. Um, no, they had a couple of uh, shots. Popey, I think, made a good save near post, actually. Um, but a lot of stuff from distance. And I mean, look, don't get me wrong. We, we had to, we had to fight. We had to camp in at times. You know, that's the way it goes. You're at Man United. It's not, it's not an easy task winning at least uh, these places. It's very rare when you look down. Even at the moment, you know, the few ups and downs that you know transitional period maybe and all that sort of stuff. It's still, still a tough place to come. So, um, certainly not going to take anything away from our players um, to come here and get a, a big result tonight. Sean, just word on, on Jay Rodden, well, he's obviously had to buy his time at Atlanta to start because they're falling from Barnsley and Woody, but terrific tonight. Have you ever been for a few weeks? Yeah, yeah, pleased. Um, you know, he's, he works ever so hard. He, he's, he's learning. He's connecting better with his teammates and he hasn't, you know, it takes time. You know, Barnsley and Woody have played together a while here with, with the, the, roughly the same group. Obviously, we have made changes, but um, they, you get connections, on-field connections, and I think he's beginning to learn that. And there were signs of that to well, quite obviously with his goal, because he's a good, clever play between him and Woody. Um, you know, he's, he's a great lad, he's a great pro, that's for sure, and, he, and he's kept his head right and he's kept working. And it's great to see him get his rewards, you know, certainly on big occasions like tonight. And, it, and of course, he's a local lad and, and a legend, so, you know, that's certainly not going to harm that side of things, that's for sure, scoring a goal like that at Old Trafford and winning. Sure, this, this stadium used to be an intimidating place for opponents to come, but it's not going to go into your team. Why do you think that is? Well, I think, I think, you know, Sir Alex left, and that's always going to be tough. We're seeing it with Arsenal, you know, as well. Well, um, you know how you get that that flow to continue for a long period is difficult. I think. Um, then you've got changes of managers. Then you've got changing players. It, it's quite obvious. I think they're going a, a lot younger now um, over the last sort of six months. You know, even high quality young players, you know, still have to learn. You know, we all know about the class of '92, but but at the end of the day, that's never been done again by anyone. So that's how tough that is. Um, so I personally have a lot of respect for Oli and what he's trying to do here because you know, there's demands here, quite obviously. But on the other hand, there is quite an obvious shift, it seems to me, by a lot of young players coming through and trying to build that momentum once again from probably a base that's a bit younger and then for years to come. I don't know whether that's their plan, but that's what it looks like from the outside looking in. And that, that takes some steel to, to go through the ups and downs of that period to get it into a bigger and better place somewhere down the line. But it's not easy. It's not easy. Look how long it's taken Liverpool. Fantastic as they are at the minute, but it's taken a while. You know, even for Jurgen Klopp, he's done a brilliant job, but it's still taking his season four or in season five or whatever it is. You know, it's not easy. It's not easy. Is Barsley likely to be We'll see, he's got a chance. I mean, he wanted to play tonight, but I called it in the end because he didn't look comfortable. And it's hard, you know, you come into these places, you want everyone maximum, you know, everyone at maximum. And, and I think if you're carrying somebody, it's not easy. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, He's working well. He's got a chance of being involved at the weekend. Uh, we'll make a decision on that. And just Ben Gibson not involved again tonight. More sort of speculation surrounding Yeah, you can continue with that one. That's all right. You can anyone you want tonight. You can say what you want. Write what you want. Say what you want. I'll be all right. I'll be. I'll be smiling tomorrow morning. Don't worry. Still expecting to be here. You can come for a Ben. We'll wait and see, like every player. Uh, you know, our history suggests they do leave us at some point, you know, all of them. Even the ones that I said no, they still leave at some point when that figure is a figure. So I'm not going to start making big statements about people definitely being here and all that. No, he's going along nicely. Um, we keep tabs with him. We know what he's doing. I know Mark Warburton well, and he's very pleased with him. Um, so, yeah, just monitoring situations like we do. He's one of ours. So, you know, we're in control of that situation like all the others. Neil? No problem, thank you. Okay. Cheers, thanks. Thanks.